Russian soldier. Only 400 soldiers out of a thousand in regiment remained in Andreevka. A Russian soldier has raised concerns about the situation he's facing in Andreevka, Donetsk region, citing a lack of proper equipment and air support. In an interview with Radio Liberty, Denis Ivanov, name changed for privacy, expressed his distress over significant casualties among his comrades, describing the situation in his 94th regiment as dire. According to the publication on September the 17th, Ivanov was scheduled to take his first vacation since the commencement of the so-called partial mobilization. However, three days before departing, he called his wife to convey his fears of dying in the coming days. The mobilized man's family shared that he called in a state of panic, explaining that out of a regiment originally consisting of a thousand soldiers, only 400 remained. He called on September the 14th and said that the Ukrainian armed forces were taking Andreevka and breaking through to Bakhmut and they are thrown into this Andreevka practically without weapons. He said that basically we are going at them with shovels and without artillery support. Outlining the hopeless situation, he said he was facing. She further quoted her husband as saying, there's no retreat because there are people behind us who won't spare us either. Ivanov reported that only 400 soldiers out of a thousand in the regiment remained, with 600 not returning from missions, while official reports claimed only two to three casualties. Ivanov himself later spoke with reporters saying, we send 25 people on a mission and only six return. Essentially, they send us there as cannon fodder. We need the coordinates for our artillery and information about the targets we should engage, but our artillery can't function because they lack shells. When you report this situation to the command, their response is, so what? That's a direct quote. So what? He said. Ivanov criticized the practice of sending his colleagues into Andreevka with no expectation of their return, claiming that Russian soldiers are ordered to seize what's left of the village despite heavy Ukrainian artillery fire. There was a terrible explosion. Russians in shock watch a fire in a fuel tank after a drone attack.